And now, the UFC flyweight champion of the world, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! I'm the only fighter to ever hold this belt. I got it by hard work and beating other people in my division. That's the best fighter on the planet Earth right there. I I've done it all. I've knocked somebody out. Oh! Unbelievable! I've submitted black belts in the UFC. There's the tap! Demetrius Johnson submits Wilson Hayes! I TKO people. To the body! That's it! That's it! They're all great accomplishments, but if I am able to go out there and win this fight, I'll be the longest reigning UFC champion ever in history. Ten title defenses, six of them stoppage wins. He moves alongside Anderson Silva. He's not going to go the history of being the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. This is definitely uncharted territories for any champion out there, and I'm glad I'd be the first person to, to make that walk, and hopefully I'm successful. Guys lose motivation. They lose their hunger when they're on top. Not this man. He strives for perfection. Everybody's watching and dissecting you to see if they can beat you. So I've always got to make sure I'm changing the way I fight. I've always got to go out there and put on a better performance. It's not about the fight, it's about what's after the fight. It's about becoming the perfect mixed martial artist. As a mixed martial artist, even though you're at the very top, you can always improve in yourself. Make yourself a better version of yourself when you fight. I'm telling you, that kid is the best. This has been a long journey, and it's not going to come to an end. GSP and Anderson, Simmons, they're great champions, but I'm the best champion to ever step in this octagon. There's not another champion out of here who can mix it up, wrestle, strike. I'm out here whooping and cleaning it up. But next time we step in the octagon, we break it! We break it! We break it! DJ's trying to reach that 11th title defense, and he came to me for it, which was a bad, bad decision. I'm not in there to be his stepping stone. I'm not in there to be his 11th trophy win. Tell you what, though, September 9th history will be broken, but not for DJ. You know, history's gonna be broken for me. It's gonna be the second ever UFC flyweight champion. This is a hungry, hard-working, nasty guy when he gets in that octagon. Ray Borg, one of the best back takers in any division in the sport right now. This kid is legit. Ready? And go! I started this journey to be the best in the world when I was 13 when the flyweight division was introduced to the UFC and DJ fought for that little four-man tournament. I believe I was only 17 at the time, and that's when I knew DJ's the guy I need to beat. Every fight he had, I was more and more determined to beat him. Very aggressive and dangerous from all different positions. He can pose some problems for the champ. I am bringing everything I got into that fight, and it is gonna be a miserable night for him. Oh, big elbows, right, Borg doing damage. There's Borg quick on a takedown, hit a beautiful double leg. I'm not going in there to do well against DJ. I'm going in there to beat DJ. Demetrius Johnson, I'm coming for that belt, and there's nothing that's gonna stop me. He's in there trying to kill me. I'm in there trying to kill him. It's literally kill or be killed in there. Who's gonna do it first? Moving in the mount, now taking the back. This is not where you want to be against Borg. Oh, oh there's the tap! To the outside world, I'm just gonna be another little piece of cheese, you know, to feed to the mouse. But I know in my heart that I am going to be DJ and I am the man to do it. I am the best power ground fighter in the world, and I'll continue to keep on pulling it. I'm not backing up. It's on. Let's go. Since our ninth, you're gonna see the only UFC flyweight champion in the world, Demetrius Johnson Rock, is cement his legacy as the longest reigning UFC champion in the world. Demetrius Johnson, one title defense away from UFC immortality. I want this belt more than he wants that 11th win, and I can promise you that. for this fight and I'm ready to put like tomorrow very good show, very great fight, very great performance and win the fight, it's number one. Tomorrow is gonna be a battle, you know? I'm ready to take this belt home with me again. Bantamweight queen Amanda Nunes is out of her main event title defense against Valentina Shevchenko. The champ fell ill and was forced to withdraw from the headliner. It's just an unfortunate turn of events and really unfortunate because I believe that that was the most advanced women's MMA matchup ever. One day, we'll see you another day. The day of the fight, my body not responded very well, and I feel like very bad pressure in my head from my signs. And then I decided with my coach, it's not a good idea to fight, but I'm here now. I'm the champion, I have to defend this belt. 
My point of view is that champion is on different level. Champion cannot just say, oh, I'm not feeling good today, I don't want to fight. You have not excuses. Now we are doing this again. And there is no way for her to escape from me this time. Valentina Shevchenko versus Amanda Nunes for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship of the World is a fight between the two most skillful bantamweight fighters who have ever competed inside the octagon in the women's division. Amanda Nunes is a devastating striker. This is the next level. Look at those shots. Oh! She battered Ronda Rousey in her return and stopped her in 48 seconds of the first round. Ronda is over in big over. trouble, Mike. Big She's attacking her again. She's stunned. That's it. That's it. It's, it's over. over. Wow. She also battered Misha Tate before she submitted her in winning the UFC World's Bantamweight title. She's got the choke. Hit it. It's all over. She is an absolute full and complete mixed martial arts fighter, but so is Valentina Shevchenko. This is a lifelong martial artist, a born fighter. She made her pro MMA debut a month after her 15th birthday. Martial arts for me, it's not only sport, it's not only part of my life, it's everything in my life. I think Valentina is the most tough girl in this division. She's a calling fighter, she has a good strike, and I have to be ready. It's gonna be a two of the best in that cage. Valentina Shevchenko is incredibly physically strong. She has outstanding judo. Her stand-up is second to none, and she really showed that in the Holly Holm fight. She outclassed Holly Holm. Man, the timing of Shevchenko really shining in this fight. She has excellent submission abilities that she showed in the Pena fight. Oh, Here's she got it! Valentina Shevchenko by submission! That was a huge wake-up call for everyone else in the bantamweight division, that Shevchenko is extremely well-rounded and that she is dangerous from every single position. The next fight will be title shot, and I'm very excited for take rematch and take this belt. They fought last year, and we saw Amanda Nunes winning the early stage of the fight. Oh, man, hammer fist by Nunes. Valentina's a mess here. But we saw Valentina Shevchenko coming on in the later half. And look at this. Amanda's in a bad spot. Yeah, she Shevchenko is. Shevchenko with an elbow. First fight with Amanda it was a very close fight. Oh, the rematch will be totally different. From the first moment till the last second of the fight, my goal is a total domination. She's tough. She can take a hit. If uh, I'm going to punch her, I want to make sure she's more strong than the last time. She's going to have one more chance to get her ass kicked. And then I will show you guys. I will beat you again. Only one place where it will be like shown who you are is inside Octagon. It will be just two, me and her, no one more. And there, everybody will see. That face off prove everything. You ready? You're gonna be a battle. I will fight till I take what I want. The belt is what I want, and nothing can stop me. I will be the champion. I wanna walk out the cage with my belt, and it's gonna happen. It is definitely the lioness era. She's an amazing fighter, and she's gonna reign the bantamweight women's division for a long time to come.